There was a time when many of us older Marines wondered if the current generation had what it took to carry on a heroic warfighting legacy forged over more than 200 years. Would they be able to endure the harshness and the rigors of combat? Would they rise to the level of valor that has traditionally been the hallmark of our Corps? As we pause to celebrate our Corps' 234th birthday, let us reflect on the magnificent history of our forefathers. But let us also pay tribute to those brave men and women, today's heroes, who willingly go into harm's way in Afghanistan and Iraq. Get off my bus! Being a Marine is not for the weak. I'll tell you that. We don't join the Marine Corps to go to college. Let's go! Move fast! We don't join the Marine Corps to make a lot of money. Move fast! We join the Marine Corps because we want to be the best. Passing through these hatches symbolizes your transformation from a civilian to a United States Marine. You will pass through these hatches one time and one time only. Do you understand? Yes, sir! Our distinction is our ability to endure hardship, and, and that's ingrained immediately from when you step into boot camp. She was like 5'1", but her confidence made her look like she was like six foot tall. Take a stance right now! The feeling you have when you can inspire someone every day, not just motivate. Motivation's like a cup of coffee. You might motivate someone, after about an hour or two, the caffeine wears off, the motivation might wear off. But if you do it right and you inspire someone, that inspiration lasts a lifetime. And I remember my first impression was, if the Marine Corps is full of people like this and leadership like this, I made the right decision to join the Marine Corps. The Marines training, uh, the Marines legacy, everything that's built up to that culminating point, uh, all points to one direction, we're a band of brothers. Uh, once we start out from inception all the way through boot camp, all the way through our units, training, going down range, uh, we're a brotherhood, and that's how we keep it. This is my generation's story, and I want to be a part of it. I don't want to sit back and watch it happen. This generation's story is one of courage, selflessness, and devotion to duty. In just one example, on April 22, 2008, Two young Marines, Corporal Jonathan Yale and Lance Corporal Jordan Harder, were standing guard at an entry control point in Ramadi, Iraq, when they added their heroic story to the legacy of our Corps. It was about 0730. I had just got off post, and Lance Corporal Harder relieved me. Him and Corporal Jonathan Yale were able to stop an explosive-laden vehicle just short of the gate. The Iraqi police that was at the post with them, he runs, yet they stand and fight. One more second, we could all have been dead. The truck negotiated the serpentine at a high rate of speed. The driver was hit numerous times and he realized he was not going to make it. Corporal Yale and Lance Corporal Harder saved the lives of more than 50 Americans and Iraqis that day. In doing so, Corporal Yale and Lance Corporal Harder gave their own lives. Each was awarded the Navy Cross for his heroic actions. I'm not sure if I could even put in the right words of what it took for those two Marines that day to stare death, you know, in the face and said, you're not, you're not taking my brothers. You are not passing. Every moment in his life led up to those six seconds in Ramadi that morning. It takes a lot to be able to do something like that, knowing that you're about to give your life for your brothers. I think it's important for all Marines to know that, that he did nothing different than they would have done. I'm super proud of him for, for doing that. And I know, um, I know in my heart that he wouldn't have had any other choice. That day, we didn't lose just two Marines. We lost two brothers. 
I think that's what really makes the Marine Corps special, is yes, you're a Marine, but once you serve side by side with another Marine, you're brothers. I hope the past generation Marines view today's generation with a lot of respect, a lot of admiration. Growing up as a young boy, I read their exploits and it inspired me to want to be a Marine. Nowadays, we also read about, you know, new Marines that have given their lives just like the Marines back then. So, you know, I really hope that they're proud of everything that Marines worldwide are doing. And I want them to know that we're still upholding those traditions. Marines have a calling. They run to the sound of the guns. Today's Marines are still the same as any Marines of the past. The Marines I've served with still have the same heart, the same courage, the same Semper Fidelis as, as uh, the Marines I served with 20, 25 years ago when I first came in. It's very interesting to view a situation that you think has no solution to it, and then have your uh, PFC or your Lance Corporal suggest something to you that's so seemingly simple that you wish you'd thought of it yourself. I'm proud to have served, and I'm proud of the Marines today. People know that there's a conflict still going on in Iraq, a conflict in Afghanistan is picking up, but yet people are still coming in. There's a mission that has to be accomplished, but when it all comes down to it, it's that guy to your left and the guy to your right, and the guy behind you pushing you forward. I'm convinced that today's Marine is just as concerned with legacy of being a Marine and the valor that goes with that as there has ever been at any time in the past. It's amazing the reason for which Marines fight. To give your own life for a fellow Marine is, is almost instinctive. Uh, as Marines, we would never want to see one of our fellow members go down. And if it means our own life, then absolutely we're ready to do that. Marines fight because it's in our blood, we're gladiators, we're warriors, it's in our spirit, and it's what we do best and we do better than anybody else in the world, and that's why the Marines will always be victorious. From each generation, an elite warrior class emerges to defend our nation. Today, we pay tribute to past warriors who fought valiantly for the freedoms we enjoy. And we salute the new generation of patriots who carry on that tradition of valor. From our roots at Tun Tavern to the battlefields in Afghanistan today, the spirit and traditions of our Corps are alive and well. Marines, family members, and friends of the Corps, we ask that wherever you are celebrating tonight, that you raise your glass or your canteen cup and join us in a toast. To the great nation that we defend, a nation founded on hope and freedom for all. To those fine warriors who no longer wear the uniform and to those who have gone before. To our families who stand behind us and sacrifice every day. To today's generation of heroes and to being one of the few, a United States Marine. Hoorah! Hoorah!